Hello again, welcome back. We have got another one from my Beer 52 box. Although I had the glass upside down and I thought this was a Beer 25 glass. Beer 52. So today we've got a House of Pale, it's a New England IPA and it's from a Danish brewery and it's it looks like it's too oi, but I think it's pronounced tool. I'm not sure about that. Uh, so it's got a lot of check-ins on uh, untapped. So this is 5.5% uh, ABV. So I'm really looking forward to this. So there's not a great deal of information. Uh, Tool House of Pale, light, crisp, and beautifully fresh. This is the pale ale to get your full-bodied, juicy fix. This beer has been brewed in Canada or brewery in Tool City, Svinniga, Denmark. Uh, 33 centiliters, alcohol 5.5%. Let's crack it open and see what it's like. Oh yeah, hazy. Pineapple juice coloured again. Get a wee bit of fizz at the end there. Let's have a wee look. Oh yeah, it's hazy. I can see I threw it slightly actually. Uh, it's a beautiful colour, it's a bit of pinky of fairly loose bubbles, that's not going to last that head. It's a lovely colour, pineapple juice. Let's release the aromas. Yeah, I'm getting peach, mango, pineapple, fruit. Juicy, juicy fruit. One flew over a cuckoo's nest. Juicy fruit. Yeah, that's very nice. Cheers, my dears. Bit of bitterness there. And then the big juicy hit at the back. Then you're getting some, you're getting that sweetness as well. So that's very nice. Oh yeah. I've just had uh, Brewdog's Hazy Jane Guava just before this. So this, it looks the same, it smells pretty much similar. This is slightly more bitter, but it's very nice. Let's go through the tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. Excuse me. So we'll go through the colour. I'll just look at that. So that's probably between a four and a six, something round about there. So... On to the tasting sheet. Well, I've still got some left. What a pleasant surprise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, that head's not going to last. Nice can. Very simple design. Very modern looking. Uh, beautiful design. So, the colour. I've just been through that, we have, but it's between a four and a six, and the clarity is, it's a slight haze, it is hazy, but you can see through it a bit, so it's not totally opaque, the colour of foam, head retention, that's quite big bubbles now, eh? so that's not going to last, I'll say it's, it's moderate. Uh, the foam texture is it's quite fluffy actually uh, carbonation, visual carbonation I can't really see much going on at all 
but I think that's maybe just the haze. I'm going to see none. The aroma alcohol, not much at all. I'm going to say not detectable. The hops is fruity. There is a bit of citrus going on there. Maybe a wee bit of tangerine, orangey sort of a... It's fruity, it's tropical. Uh, the malt... There might be a wee bit of bread, bread... White breadish. Uh, the esters... Well, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to put pineapple, but peach. But I don't know if that's the esters or the hops. The flavour and al aftertaste, alcohol, is not detectable. The hop flavour is fruity, citrus, tropical. There is a wee bit of piney, resinous, bitterness there. Yeah, yeah, you're getting that. But the front in it, the fruit comes through. There is a wee bit at the back as well. So, but it's restrained. The malt flavour, maybe bready a wee bit. The malt sweetness is low. Astringency low, body sort of somewhere between drying and soft. Palate carbonation is low. The length. I'm going to say up to 60 seconds, medium. Balance and drinkability, desirable, style appropriate. So this is a very good beer. It smells beautiful and the taste follows. So would I buy it again? Yeah, I would try that again, definitely. If I've seen it, I would pick a few up. Score out of 10... The Hazy Jane Guava, I gave a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8.9. Because it's almost as good. It's good, very good. But not quite as good as that. I really should just compare it on its own merits. But well, I am, really. What does it say on Untapped? Let me have a wee look. Yeah, House of Pale... Tool or toy tool. Pale Ale, New England, 5.5% ABV. IBU is 37. It tastes a wee bit higher than that. There's 28,000 check ins. With an average score of 3.66. Uh, style Guide House of Pale is one of the recipes we've taken from our beloved Mad Laboratory in Copenhagen. And it's got Bruce. I don't know what that is. A New England pale ale with Yukino hops. It has seen many changes and tweaks over this year, experimenting with hop doses and overall crispiness. And now we're pretty sure we've got exactly what we've been looking for. And this has got hoppy, citrus, fruity, piney, spicy. There might be a wee bit. I couldn't tell you what it was though. So, all in all, it's a very good beer. And I would try it again. Thanks for watching. Welcome to my new subscribers. I'll see you again, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Thumbs up. Very nice.